Hey, Love Nikki fans, it's me again, back with another chapter of story time. So, before I start out, I just want to say that I noticed there was like some weird editing problem going on with my last video where it wasn't fitting the screen. I think I fixed it this time, but if not, and we're looking at the same problem again, you can just we can all just share a fun chuckle, which will be start partly strained on my part because I'm dumb. So chapter two starts out with Nikki, Bobo, and Momo like walking to Lilith, and Nikki's like, "I miss Lunar. She left us." And Momo's like, "Yeah." And Bobo's ugly, and Bobo's like, "I'm gonna beat you to unconsciousness," which is really what we all want. Like that's that's what I want in the new chapters. And then there's some exposition where Bobo's like, "Yes, Lilith is a fairy tale kingdom," because they had to put that in somewhere. And then the story of chapter 2 really starts when they arrive at Cecia, which has this fancy schmancy theater. And they're like, yeah, I know Ninari told us to save the world, but let's like go see this play at Candy Witch and Star Sea. And then Nikki hints that she knows something about December Troop, which is putting on the play. And then it's just glossed over when Passing by Handsome, all caps, just arrives. And I say Passing by Handsome because that's what they call him in the story. And he's like, I am Royce, let me through! And the guards are like, that's a nice name, but we're not gonna let you through. And before we go even further, let me just make one thing clear. I love Royce, he's a great character, but his fake British accent isn't good. It isn't as bad as Momo's voice, but it ain't grand. And if y'all don't have the voice acting on, God bless you, because Royce's voice is just terrible. It grew on me, I guess, as the, as the story went on, but it's, it's not good. I told you I'm Royce, a friend of the troops' chief. Now let me go in and watch the rehearsal! Anyway, so Royce conveniently is like, Guess I'll go through the secret path! And then those guards earlier, they were like, didn't hear, I don't know. And Nikki says, Wait, I want to go through the secret path too! And then, you know, Royce goes back, he just, like, ignores her, and then a random girl shows up and she's like, I know where the secret path is! Beat me in a battle and I'll show you the secret path! And then they go through the secret path because Nikki wins. They sneak in and they overhear a woman saying that if she sees His Majesty, she will inform her at once. And then she turns around and sees Nikki and is like, Holy Jesus Christ, are you the thief? And like, even, okay, even if Nikki is the thief, she's not gonna come out and say it, so I don't get what the point, like, are you the thief? Oh, you caught me! Anyway, so then she explains that as a theater manager, so you're responsible for catching thieves, and I don't even have a joke for that, because it's ridiculous enough on its own. Anyway, so Lisa, the theater manager, says that the December troupe isn't there, and then she and Nikki fight, because, you know, why not? And then they're making their way downtown when they run across Toto again, and she says she needs advice for her Capricorn date. And I'm fairly certain that, like, it just not occurred to me that I think that she's killing off her dates. Like, I think that's what's going on. Anyway, so Nikki, Bobo, and Momo, jo Momo join her on her paddle boating date, and Momo gets grilled fish, and everyone is happy. I, they weren't like on the same pad. I realize how that sounded. They weren't on the same paddle boat. It was just Nikki, Bobo, and Momo on a paddle boat. But like Toto was also there. But I want to see. I want to see Nikki, Bobo, Momo, Toto, and her date on a paddle boat. Anyway, so they run into Lisa again, and she's wearing casual clothes, and everyone's like, "Oh, you're so cute." And then Bobo says, "I think I'm starting to get the hang of how things work around here." Before challenging Lisa to a battle on behalf of Nikki, and that really confused me because I thought that Bobo like already lived there and she already knew what was going on. But you know, I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm a dumb person. So they run into Aaron later, and Nikki's like, "You're the first person I met here besides Nanari." And Bobo is like, "Didn't Nanari abdicate due to sickness a while ago?" And everyone just kind of ignores what Bobo said because they can't, it, it would be too plot revealing. And then Bobo's like, could this be, could Nikki truly be the prophesized one? The one that the legends have wrote about? Is that why Queen Inari broke the rules of time and space in a desperate hope of bringing Marilyn's true savior to our land? And then she's like, ah, nah, I'll just ask, I'll ask Nikki later. I don't know why I had to whisper that, but I feel like that's what really happened. Anyway, so, I say anyway a lot. They run across the girl who was speaking to the theater manager earlier, and she gives them direction to their hotel, and then she asks them, have you seen a man with blonde hair and annoying accent? And Bobo denies it, because the develop developers haven't given her a date yet. So they get to the hotel, and Bobo calls Momo a fat meatball, and then they all have a slumber party, and then there's like a, you know, like that fun fade to black that they have in movies where they're all laughing, and then 
A new day dawns and the crew makes their way to the theater where the December troop has just arrived. And before they can like meet up with Lisa, they see her talking to a man and woman, both with silver hair, who say they're on their way to the Apple Federation. The man's name is Joe. We don't know who the girl's we don't know who the girl is yet, but she looks neat. And then Lisa comes over and tells Nikki she can only come backstage if she beats her in a battle, which Nikki does. And then backstage they meet Sophia, who is starring in the play. She gives Nikki a ball gown and promises that if she works hard enough, even that pathetic three-star dress can beat Star C, a six-star dress. To recap, Chapter 2, we meet Royce, who says the most iconic line in the game. I didn't show it until just now, but it's, it's iconic. And then we meet Lisa, who is probably underpaid for all of the stuff that she does as a theater manager. Toto comes back with a different boyfriend. Nikki still doesn't know what's going on, and the battle between Bobo and Momo still continues.